All right, guys. Um, I have a lead on an interesting old Malays era car like mine. My buddy, um, who's not a car guy at all, bought a 1979 Lincoln Versailles. Took it to a car shop and they made it worse and now the car doesn't run. So unfortunately, he is going to sell it. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go over there. We're gonna give it a nice detail hand wash inside and out. I'm gonna put it up on Facebook Marketplace and, and we'll see what happens next. All right, so I'm here. The Versailles is right through this door here, but there's only one problem. The garage door is broken and the key, the way to get to the garage is this door, which has a key that nobody has access to. I guess it was lost. So that leaves one alternative. Oh boy. So I was about ready to just jump down here and die, but we could just open the garage. So that's what we're gonna do instead. Cause that was a very sketchy idea. Hopefully this garage door still works. Hey! Freedom! All right, let's go see it. I'm excited. I've only seen this car once before. Ooh. Dusty old thing. Things kind of around it. Oh, this is going to be so satisfying to clean, you guys. So for those who don't know, the Versailles was essentially the epitome of the Malaise era in the sense that it's a pseudo luxury car made to look extremely luxurious and nice. But in reality, all it is, is I believe a Ford Granada made to look pretty. That's all it is. Mechanically, it's still a Ford Granada. Everything about it is Granada, except it looks a lot better than one. So that's part of why this car is not very valuable, but it is still a very much a treat to look at. I think it makes for an amazing lowrider build too. The doors are so short, it's so interesting. Uh, four wheel disc brake. Interior looks very nice. Can't wait to clean it up though. It's gonna look a lot better. Oh, so cool. I love the leather seats too. Look how nice that looks. The dash is super beautiful. Ooh, the metal here looks very nice. It's very, it's very high quality, but you know, since it's Malaysia, that it's not. Ooh, we got a sagging headliner, very badly sagging. And uh, some nice plush, very plush leather seats. Very nice. Check this out. Thermometer on the freaking side view mirror. It looks pretty accurate, probably. <laughs> That's awesome. I think we're in the 50s or so. Yeah. Since it doesn't run right now, he's just going to get in there, <laughs> put it in neutral, and then I'm going to push it. Let's hope those brakes work because... Uh, if not, this is going to be bad. Okay, we're almost out. A little more. You're good to let it go. Now it's all up to you because uh, it's down a hill, so. Look at that thing, dude. Let's go right now. $600? How could you not? How could you not? Oh. Wifey would kill me if I did if I did something this stupid. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, it looks so cool in the sunlight, bro. Look at that paint. It's a beautiful color. The thing with this car, it was also kind of an economy car because of the fuel crisis. Yeah. It's smaller. And believe me, you can feel it. I can, as you can see, e even when it's out of the garage, I can just barely feel like I can get out of something. <laughs> Dude, that door is tiny. Short. It is. It's, it's crazy. Tiny. It's like a, getting out of a TIE fighter. <laughs> wow, guys. All right. Let's start cleaning it. I, I've always wanted to do this as a kid. Always wanted to get some weird, rare, old car, just anything old, and just clean it up, make it look factory fresh. So we don't have detailing to, uh, stuff per se, but I think with enough elbow grease, we could get this looking really nice. 
The only thing I don't like is this stripe of brown down the side. Did that happen? Did that have it from the factory? No, oh. this, so if you look like where we're here, this is supposed to be its coloration. Ah. I think it just kind of lost its coating. Uh, so it's browned? Yep. Interesting. Look at that in the sunlight, guys. That is nice. That looks so cool. Cannot wait. Looks like the Versailles. Ugh. Oh yeah, there's some moisture down there. That is for sure. Look at that, guys. Look at that. I don't know what all that goo is, but it is wet down here, y'all. That's not great. And the reason I could tell is because of that. I think I've certainly seen better days. Classic car street out here. Look at this. Look at this old Vega that just passed by sounding real good too. Had no reason to sound that good. Turn on the hose, watch out. Ready? First step is spraying. I wonder if there's ever in the history of the world been a Lincoln Versailles in Versailles, France. You go on an instant and look up Lincoln Versailles. Somebody has a post of one of these in Versailles. <laughs> Yo, that is awesome. This is so satisfying, you guys. Look at all the dirt just go away. Just seeing the beautiful paint underneath. Oh, I, it is, dude. I would just love to get good at detailing so I could just do this for fun for my cool old cars. Like, this is just fun for me. I enjoy every aspect of this. Mm. Y'all have weird old cars. Really, my dream was to go to like a scrap yard, like a classic car uh, wrecking yard, I guess, and just clean one of those cars and just see how good it could look after sitting for like 30 years in a field. I think it'd be really interesting. Oh, it's already coming together. I love it. I love it. It's so cool. Look at that. I got a little more high pressure on the hose. The stuff is just coming off now. It's so satisfying. Already the difference is pretty crazy. Oh yeah, this is like some ASMR level of satisfaction. Oh yeah. Let's clean that mug. Oh yeah. Oh, look at all that blackness going away. Oh yeah. So, so cool. You guys, I love doing this. I've always wanted to do this. Remember back in middle school, my friend's great aunt, she had like a 72, 73 Buick Wildcat. It just sat so dusty in her garage because it was her late husband's. And I just wanted more than anything to clean it up. I know. Minus the sagging uh, cloth. It really does have a really good look. This is like what the average car during this era looked like. I'm going to head in real quick. Go down. for it. This I know is going to be satisfying because it's just so dirty. Oh yeah, get all that gunk off. Let me actually tighten it even more, make it really powerful. Oh yeah, there we go. And this is just step one, y'all. I'm still going to go in, hand wash everything with soap. And really get it all lathered down but see it already looks just so nice god i love this era of cards the design so are just so nice dude oh my god i'm in love this is an interesting fact about these cars but in modern days we have kind of a 90s aesthetic things retro things are like kind of based on 90s to 2000s well the 70s was so long ago that 1930s was their retro aesthetic like 1920s and 30s that's why we have waterfall grills coming back because basically every luxury car in the 1920s 30s had waterfall grills same thing goes for the landau roof on the back back in the day they used to just have this roof and then this would be open to the driver just just I don't know, to show off and say that I'm richer and better than you and you're driving me around in the cold weather and I have all this covering 
and vinyl and warmth to protect me. They would even have a radio in some cars, a walkie talkie of sorts to talk to the driver so they wouldn't have to actually be in the same space as them. Crazy time period, but that's why we see those types of design elements coming back. Same here with the spare tire mount. There's no tire here. It just was a throwback to the 1920s and 30s. Super interesting. This is where we're at now. Starting from the top. It's already coming really to life. It's so satisfying. All right, everything is sprayed down, soaked up. Um, turned out pretty nice. Now we're gonna dry it with some sheepskin, whatever it's called. And then we're gonna start on the interior. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Oh my God, these carpets are ridiculously plush. Dude, it smells so good in here. I love old car interior smell. Is that a weird thing? Oh my God, I cannot wait. Let's go, let's start. All right, and just like that, y'all can see the before and after yourself, but wow. Obviously it has some imperfections, but it turned out really nice. I wish the sun was going the other direction so it could be more lit up. The vinyl still has a little bit of like dust soaked into it, but it still looks quite a bit darker, more vibrant. It pulled out, the dirtiness made this much more obvious, but wow, it just looks, it looks overall a million times better. Love, love, love it. Now it's time to start on the interior, which shouldn't be too bad because the interior actually looks quite nice. Look at that. Oh, I can't get over how nice this looks. Oh man, original radio still. Oh, that is fabulous. Oh my, oh boy. Okay, I'm super excited. Look at that, guys. Ford Lincoln Versailles. How many of those have you ever seen? Amazing stuff. Oh man, it feels good in here. It is pretty tight though. My head is touching the, the ceiling. Probably because the headliner is sagging though. But oh, let's give this thing a good wash. Good dust off. Make everything look nice and pretty. Man, I just love this interior. Driving this every day would just be incredible. Wow, incredible interior. Oh, I cannot wait. The difference in the steering wheel is pretty big. Y'all need to clean your steering wheels. I don't think you guys realize just how oily and disgusting they get. Look at all this black gunk that I got off the steering wheel here. And this is normal on a lot of cars that are not even this old. I wonder when the last time this was cleaned, I honestly think there was some oil hand oil on there straight up from the 70s which is oh my god dude very interesting i guess look at that ah so gross but I'm getting it shiny and nice again a lot of this is just going to be throwing junk out and then trying to find a way to clean these beautiful luscious plush carpets I'm trying to clean the carpet now but it is just so thick that I just can't even get down into it. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot of elbow grease. But I'm enjoying it a lot, so no complaints. So I was thinking after we're done cleaning, I was gonna go through that kind of the story time of the car and he was gonna tell me his history with the car, but he just dropped a bombshell on me. So I just have to... Now I thought I had already told Azrael this. Okay. So I don't think this woman is a scammer or whatever, but you know, we had all these conversations. She wanted to buy the vehicle. Mm -hmm. She told me- She's her, the homeless one, right? Yeah, the one who at that. the very end told me that she was homeless and poor and whatnot. Uh -huh. Well, anyways, so I only talked to her strictly about buying the car. Right. She told me her husband had, heart, had a heart condition. I, I even should have told her, look- this might I remember be, that too. This might not be the best car for you to buy right now. Yeah. She was still interested. Probably to sleep in it. And so this fucking lady, Pardon my French. She ends up telling me she's not going to buy the car Oh, anymore. yeah, and then she gives you her GoFundMe link to her husband, right? To her husband. I remember that. I lost out on a buyer who would come with an extra 100 bucks in a tow truck. And so she sends me this GoFundMe. And I donated a little bit to it. A life taken too soon. Roland Page. And I'm just at this point, I don't think this is fake. $60? I donated and 50 you were, of that. You were almost all of it? I was 50. Here's a little bit, but here's the update. Well, he has since passed away three days ago, and we found out some horrible news. 
It turns out the truth about how he passed came out, and it turns out that his wife actually ran him over after an what? argument. What? She has since went to jail, and we need help now more than ever. Please, if you can, find a place in your heart to donate. We will forever be grateful. God bless. So that's from his family? Who the, started the, the GoFundMe? The page was set up by, the, the, by a friend of the Holy crap. And it's the person you were texting that murdered him? Yeah, that's the wife. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this thing almost went to a murderer. That is nuts, Apparently dude. Apparently the husband was a mechanical whiz and they were uh, all talking to him fixing it up or something. But. That is insane. That is psychotic. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Wow, well, this car has a storied past now, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not sure if this is how we're supposed to do it, but I uh, kind of matted it up a little bit by rubbing at it, so I'm gonna brush it through. To... This stuff is so thick that it genuinely needs to be brushed. It is insane, you guys, how thick this carpet is. It's incredible. <laughs> Just found this in between the seats, so probably be pretty stoked about that. <laughs> awesome. That looks a lot better with it on. Oh, this is so much fun, you guys. Now it's time for the rear, which I have a feeling might actually be dirtier than the front. So we'll see how this turns out, but I think it's all turning out really nicely so far. So I was wondering, all these little brown stains, I always, I assumed there was oil stains or something like that. But when I rub at them, there seems to be a correlation between rubbing these stains and smelling dog poop. So, <laughs> someone at some point from 1979 to now let their dog crap on the rear carpet of this car and just never cleaned it until now. Yikes. Yikes. The interiors look pretty good. Everything is clean. I just gotta wait for the carpets to dry. Everything looks good inside and out. So last thing to see is the trunk. Hopefully it's not too dirty. The thing with these trunks, and he even mentioned it when the first time I sent this vehicle to him, very big, very kind of mobster <laughs> sized trunks. And you're gonna see that. Oh yeah. I could, um, I could lie in there. Oh, that is so sick. I could oh, a full size <laughs> spare tire too. I could too. straight up, you could sleep in this. Yo, this you is very dirty, but I'm not cleaning it. And here's the gas cap in the back. Wait, you fill up in the back? Yeah. Oh, right here. Yeah. Interesting. It makes me kind of a bitch to open sometimes. It can actually kind of hurt. Oh, yeah. All right. Now that it's all cleaned, we're going to move it down, get a good photo shoot with it for the sale. It's advertisement. And then, ooh, here it comes. Look at the glisten. Look at the glisten. Ooh. And cool. Let's see. Ah, perfect, perfect. Just enough. Perfect. Wow, beautiful car. Excited. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you guys what's under the hood. As well. hopefully it's not too gunky, because then that might be worth cleaning. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. Oh, it's hydraulic. There it is. Is that a V8? I really can't tell. Could be a V6. No, they only made these in V8s. No way, dude. That's a small V8. I think it's V8. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah, definitely is not as beautiful under here, but old cars, engines are just... Could be worse. It is what it is. Yeah. It's not wet. Yeah, which is very good because wet spots usually imply some forms of leaking. I think there's some leaking underneath. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 But, oh, this battery looks horrible, dude. Might be worth just getting a new battery. Man, I wish I knew mechanics, dude. I really do feel like I could fix this up without that much money. The mechanics I took it to, they told me it's a simple car. It's easier to work on. Exactly, dude. This looks all simple. There's so much hand space. It's like, oh, this should not be this complicated. That shop is a scam. We'll talk about that later though, yeah. guys. Last thing I wanted to do was have Max, the owner, kind of recount the story of him and this car. So I say we hop in and talk about it. Let's do it. As I might have told you, 
this car just kind of wasn't the right fit for me. So I bought this car because I got the money from the stimulus checks, tax return, just my job. And I thought, you know what? I want to do something I normally wouldn't do. And I try to get into to cars. Well, it turns out when you're a 20 something year old with no mechanical skills, you probably shouldn't buy what's basically a project car. <laughs> right. I took this car to a shop here in Magna called Magna Auto and Tire. And oh my God, I had no idea what I was doing. They took forever. They lied to me. Tell me about that. I took my car there and they told me it'd be a little bit of a wait. And I said, that's okay. Right. And it ended up being about two and a half months oh later God. that they finally got to me. And I'd call them. I'd say, hey, is this car going to be ready by next what Wednesday or whatever? Mm -hmm. and it happened again and again. They wouldn't pick up phone calls. I'd have to go down there to get anybody to talk to me. Well, long story short, and about two grand later, I'm finally able to drive the car. And then I, I went to go, I went back there just to talk to them about some other aspect or detail. Mm -hmm. And I pull out of the garage here, and the car stops. <laughs> just stalls. And, and I hear a vroom, vroom, vroom <laughs> sound behind me. Oh. And so I went back there, and I said, you know what? I am, And I told them, and they said, I'll bring it back next week. And I said, you know what? I am done with you guys. Yeah. Uh, I, I took my other car there. Uh, I asked for a diagnostic. They didn't do it. I know <laughs> they didn't do it because they put my emergency brake up. My emergency brake on my old car, not this car, different car, didn't even work. <laughs> and the guy should have told me, yeah, I checked it out. It's all good. It's all good. So bad work. Don't If you live in Magnet, don't go there. Yeah. But um, So this car has basically been sitting here for with me for about two years now. Mm-hmm. Uh, unfortunately what was the problems within the first place uh valve gasket covers were leaking oil or something like that so some oil is yeah, leaking into the lot spark of, plugs yeah there's a lot of oil there. uh it's leaking transmission fluid it's leaking coolant it's just leaky yeah leaky i i, I am selling it it has ninety thousand miles right there if you look on the odometer but um yeah that's my story i it's a great piece of american history it is beautiful. It is a classy car. It is. It's it is a work of art in of itself. It's just, I don't have the means to get it going. And um, I'd like to find somebody who could. So, yeah, that's that's why this is here. That's the story of the Versailles and why it is sitting here today for sale for $900. So that is quite a steal, in my opinion, for such a stunning and rare car in just amazing condition. Moral of the story, if you don't know how to fix your cars, find someone trustworthy, because they made it worse. It used to run, but it would stall out sometimes. Yeah, old cars do that. Now, it doesn't even turn over because of them. <laughs> and whatever sloppy job they did, it destroyed what was once a running and beautiful car. So, if you guys have some know-how, I, I really am confident that this car doesn't need, like, oh, you know that much work to get it running maybe a thousand bucks into it so you can do the work yourself just unfortunate that such a nice car is victim to sloppy laziness you can see it's pretty wet down there but oh, someone had a jack that's transmission oil and coolant. <laughs> nice i don't think the the, the brakes are leaking though they work but, I'm just... but uh now we got to push it and back, back up which is Let's going to be it. the least fun part just putting it in neutral and that's it and then the versailles goes back in its dungeon until someone buys it man i would be so tempted if i had more space all right let's get out and let's do this thing oh, i don't know i feel like attached to it because i put so much work into i've been doing this for what a couple hours it feels like yeah three hours and now. i feel like i'm so familiar with this thing now now it's just gonna get locked away. All right. Let's see what we can do. Oh, oh God. <laughs> so that didn't work, who would have thought? So he's going to get his dad because we are not getting this up without some help. Oh, what a stunning car though. My God, dude. I'm so enamored with this era of automotive design. It's just beautiful. What a shame. What a shame. All right, the squad is here. Car. <sighs> Frame right. it in. Stop. Stop. All right, get in it. Oh gosh. Wow. Two, the difference between two people and three people is 
think we're a hair to the left, but it's okay. Could you try getting on that side since you're skinny? <laughs> sure. Old column shifter, right? It's in park. Yep. There it is. Good job. Well done, if I do say so myself. Good job. All that work, just for this door to shut and for me to basically never see it again. And go attached to cars like this. You put a lot of work into cleaning them and it all goes down in a way like this. Avoir, we can just say.